It's been one week since you last heard my calming tones delivering you some gaming news, so I'm back with another news roundup. I'm Mick Doherty from GuysGeek.com with some news stories for the week ending the 24th of May. We have two pieces of F1 2019 news for you. The first being that a full in-game trailer has been released showing off how the game looks, and secondly that Codemasters have released some comparison shots comparing the Monocle track from F1 2018 to the upcoming F1 2019. Both the trailer and those comparison shots showing off the visual upgrades can be found in the good old news section. Team Sonic Racing is finally out and to celebrate a new live action trailer has been released. If you head on over to the usual place, you'll find the trailer in full as well as a link to a review written by our very own Chris Height. If you haven't heard, Supermassive Games are releasing a follow-up to Until Dawn titled The Dark Pixels Anthology Man of Medan. A release date has been announced for the 30th of August this year. You can already pre-order the game and if you do it you'll get access to the curator's cut of the game, giving you some extra goodies. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons is getting the Switch treatment and is going to be released on the 28th of May, so not long to wait. Also, if you pre-order the game, you'll get 10% off the price on the eShop. Now, features for the Switch version include a local co-op mode, director's commentary and concept art gallery. If medieval MMOs are your kind of thing, then you might want to sign up for the beta for the upcoming Conqueror's Blade on June the 4th. There's a wee cinematic video as well as the link for the beta in the usual spot. Gameloft have announced that a Team Battle LEGO game is on the way to mobile. There's not much details on LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed, but there is a teaser trailer on the website if you fancy a wee look. Ubisoft have released some details of the upcoming Assassin's Creed Symphony World Tour. If an AAP's orchestra and choir is your kind of thing, then you'll want to check out the news section for the Spotify set list and the link for the tickets. And with that, I am out of news, but there is plenty more good reads over on the Gods of Geek website, and if you want it even earlier, you should definitely check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash godisageek. Now, off you go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm Mick Doherty, this has been News Roundup, and I'll catch you all on the next one.